We are now going to provide definitions for the following section where we talk about relations and functions. So, let's start with a relation. A relation is a connection between two things. Typically an x and a y, and it says if I'm told x, then I know y. So x corresponds with y, or y corresponds with x. And so this is simply a way of keeping track of how different things are connected. Now a function is a specific type of relation. Again, it has x's and y's, or x corresponds with y. And very specifically though, a function is where each input is tied to only one output. Each input has just that output value available to it. There's no multiples. Whereas a relation, any number of inputs can be tied to any number of outputs. But in a function, it's specifically that when you talk about the input, it only gives one output. Now, the dependent and independent variables are very important. The dependent variable is said to be the output variable, usually y. It's the one that we want to get by itself because its value, the value of y, depends on the input x. Whatever x is, that'll determine what the y is. The independent variable is the input variable, and it's the one you get control over. So it's most often x. And it's just the one you choose and then evaluate. The domain is the largest, is the set of all possible inputs consisting of real numbers that give real number outputs. And we have an agreement in algebra that unless you're told otherwise, the domain is defined as the largest set possible where we plug a real number in and get a real number out. Now, there's a specific w there are a couple of specific ways of talking about different types of functions and relations. And these two, correspondence diagrams or maps, these terms get used interchangeably, is where we show two circles and we type in the elements, write in the elements. So let's say this is A, B, C, and D. And this is 1, 2, 3, and 4. And so this is a correspondence. This is our inputs. So this is our domain, and this is our outputs. And the, the connection is that we draw arrows. So A goes to 1, B goes to 2, C goes to 3, and D goes to 4. So I can pick either A, B, C, or D, and if I do, this correspondence diagram or map tells me that the output is 1, 2, 3, or 4. And I'm going to skip a definition just because it's right here. This group over here is called the range. The outputs are called the range. The set of all outputs. Again, consisting of real numbers. And the last thing that we're going to talk about is what we term the value of the function. And this is the output of a function, in other words, the y value for a given input say x. So we'd say the value of a function at x equals 2 is y, and whatever number that is. Or the value of the function at b is 2. Or the value of the function at d is 4. So the value very specifically refers to the output. And so these are the terms and the information you need to know to be ready for this section.